All right, so a quick little video. This is something you can make for dinner tonight if you have the ingredients there. I think the only kind of strange one is baking powder, but a lot of people have that. Um, homemade noodles, and then I'm just gonna throw it in a pot with some chicken, um, a little bit of parsley, carrots, and garlic, and I will have chicken and noodles. All right, I think the only thing on here that, uh, that you kind of have to prepare in advance is uh, beating one egg, all right? So set that aside. We got our milk right here. This is about two tablespoons of milk and one egg, all right? Got that, that should be enough liquid for this. I've got one cup of flour, are you ready for this? Half of a teaspoon of baking powder and about half a teaspoon of salt, and that's it. So we mix the dry ingredients just like this. Usually you just stick your hand in there and do this, it'd be way quicker, but I'm doing it this way just for you, man. Just for you. All right, then we throw our wet ingredients in here. Uh, people will do stuff like go make a well in the middle and all this other stuff. Just mix them up, all right? Just give me a decent mix. And looks like it's mixing just fine. Isn't this amazing how quick this is? Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm pushing pasta and rolling it around to get the last of that flour used up in there. And we end up with essentially a dough ball right here in our hands. And then we roll it around one last time like that. All right, and then I'm gonna have to flour a surface and we're gonna cut them and we've got noodles. So here we go. Now I'm gonna do this on parchment paper um, just cause I can, cause I don't like cleaning this stuff up. All right, so you just smash this out like so, like a, just like a pizza, you know, and it's and it's fairly thick. All right, stretch it a little bit, get comfortable with it, and then we're gonna cut it. All right, so all you do, roll these out. Look, you don't need a fancy rolling pin or anything else. This is a bottle of Irish whiskey, for goodness sake. Let's not make anything more difficult than it has to be. And these don't need to be super thin. Um, you kind of want them about like fettuccine noodles. And then look, they just cut out like this. And you want to keep them in that, uh, in that flour. Especially if you're doing grandma noodles. You know, this isn't for show. You're not in a competition. That one's too fat. All right, after I just said that. <laughs> All right, so let's keep cutting down. They don't need to be the same. Look, if I'm making noodles at home, there's nothing like these. I mean, literally flavor-wise or anything else. I'm gonna cut them in half just so they're not too big to eat. Um, no real huge long ones in there. All right, so now watch. I'm gonna toss these kind of in their own flour so they won't stick. All right, and then we're gonna fix this chicken stock. We're gonna throw in these noodles and we're ready to roll. Okay, so we got a little bit of chicken stock there. We're gonna throw in the parsley and the carrots and the chicken. There you go, parsley and carrots. And obviously, if you've got celery, you know, do that. A little bit of garlic doesn't hurt matters. All right, so we're gonna dump these in here. This was at a full rolling boil a minute ago, and I personally was the one who turned it off because I thought it looked a little weird, but these are gonna cook up. Now, then we have to decide at the tail end, do we wanna add chicken stock or not? I mean, not chicken stock, um, cornstarch or not to thicken it up, but I don't think we're gonna need it. All right, let's have us a look, see where we're at. Make sure these are all separated. See how they've all moved up to the top? And since they've got a little baking powder in them, they're gonna expand. So this may be almost like dumplings for you. And they need to cook, literally, I'm not kidding, for seven minutes uh, for the eggs to cook and everything. So how about we do this? How about we cover this and I get back? All right, so it's been a few minutes. See how they've all swelled up? Let's have a look at that broth. It's getting thicker. I think we might be okay by service time here. Now all the chicken is shredded, so it's down a little bit lower. Uh, a little bit of pepper. No cheap pepper, you gotta use the good stuff, okay? About a minute and we can serve okay. this up. Let's see what this serves up like. Everything's pretty, there's enough chicken, broth is thick. Bring it over here into our bowl. Nice, nice, nice. All right, have a look. Big thing is, would you all eat right. it? Let's see how these noodles are. Um, scalding hot is my guess. <laughs> Taste 
Tastes like Stroud's from Kansas City's Chicken Noodle Soup. Hope you enjoy it.